Good Wednesday morning to you and happy first day of spring. We're all excited to get outside, see some of that snow melt over these next few days as warmer weather continues to melt that snow off in lower elevation. Spring begins today officially at 3.58 p.m. our time where that spring equinox begins. And for the first time since 2000, a full moon also falls on the same day as the spring equinox. So tonight, the peak of this full moon, the worm moon, as it's called, the March uh, full moon, is a super moon. 7.43 p.m. tonight, that moon rises at 7.21 in the east, east northeast. And we continue to see some clear skies, so a great night to view the last supermoon of 2019. So we are tracking some areas of some dense fog across the area this morning, across the northeast, especially across Highway 2, along the Milk and Missouri River Valleys, less than a fourth of a mile at times. So we see a little bit more of that water and moisture in the area due to some areas of a little bit of snow melt off just sitting there on those roadways and that could form some freezing fog ice may accumulate on exposed surfaces like bridges and overpasses creating some slick conditions again especially across highway 2 this morning so high pressure going to continue to dominate our forecast we stay dry a few passing clouds as we have the door this evening not too much to affect that nighttime viewing but highs today back in the 40s, even 50s. Once again, especially through western Montana, so quite a bit of those warmer temperatures, those greens now almost across all of Montana, which indicates much warmer weather. So we continue to see that warmer weather and also that snow melt. So we have flood aerial advisories today in effect just south of Glasgow for parts of Petroleum County and across Glendive as well, just for minor flooding because of that snow melt in poor drainage areas collecting and creating those water across roadways and in some low-lying areas. So just keep that in mind as we can see a little bit more of this happen these next few days. We continue to see a wetter than average outlook these next six to 10 days. So we'll see even some rain in the forecast adding to that precipitation on the ground. Six to 10 day forecast for warmer weather across the western side of the state and about average for central and eastern Montana.